today's news, Lee Jun admits he once wanted to marry HOT's Moon Hee Jun. You guys, Steph has a very special live stream painting session with K-pop music in the background going on right now. Do you want to explain what you're painting? I'm painting something inspired from BTS. You want to check that out. I know what image it is, and it's going to be ridiculously awesome. I can't wait for you to finish that painting. Check the link here or here to watch her paint to K-pop music. And follow her on Twitch. On a recent episode of the Korean TV show, Knowing Brothers, Lee Jun, when asked if he had ever been in love before, stated, when I was young, I wanted to get married to Moon Hee Jun. I only know who Moon Hee Jun is because of the video that we did with him getting married to his future wife. Um, Who's now his current wife, <laughs> So Yul of Crayon Pop. They did get married already? Yes. Okay, so I know that they were planning to get married. Yes, they got married in February. Oh, congratulations. And that's probably why this is coming up, because this is time to take advantage of Moon Hee Jun's being popular in the media. This is actually not new information. He came out in 2013 on, actually June 15th, 2013, on an Immortal Song 2 episode. He went and told Moon Hee Jun this, basically to his face. And Moon Hee Jun replied, if M. Black wins today, I'll marry him. Unfortunately, as you could, we all know, he married So Yul, Crayon Pop, and he didn't end up marrying Lee Jun of M Black. I gave this one a lot of thought. Korea is such a conservative place. It's almost like very young children there are allowed to be whoever they want more than here. And then there's this other conservative aspect which really throws a kink into my theory. But I think if, for instance, he were to admit this to his mother, or if his mother was present when he maybe said this out loud, like as if he was watching TV and saw him and said, oh, I wanna marry him. He's not thinking sexual or man versus woman. They're very metrosexual. We've talked about this before, especially a lot of the male K-pop stars. They look very feminine. It's widely accepted. It's very attractive. It's one of the things that people who like K-pop are attracted to. But if he did in fact say this, for instance, in front of his mother, I want to marry him, the mother probably wouldn't do anything at all and just think, oh, that's normal or oh, that's okay because and my son can do no wrong. And of course he's not gay. Well, at this is going into what actually happened because he approached his parents. He's 10 years old. H.O.T. is the number one K-pop group of the period in time. And he's watching them and he goes to his parents because he said he, he actually went to his parents and said, oh my gosh, I want to marry Moon Hee Jun of H.O.T. And they kind of more or less laughed him off. And that's actually not the only situation that he's had. Mind you, he's not actually gay or if he is gay he's bi and i could kind of back that up not that it even matters in the least bit because i know that there's actually a lot more k-pop stars that are gay than any of us know about because we really don't know of any k-pop stars who have come out of the closet being gay and we're not trying to push you out of any sort of closet we're just trying to talk about this in an open manner but he went on in 2011 on a show called Happy Day with Family. So his parents were there. He said on this variety show, yeah, I had girlfriends and I had boyfriends too, referring to high school. And since that point in time from like 2013 to 2015 and maybe still going on, I don't know if this is true or not, but I know that he was dating a former classmate who was a female and he wasn't trying to make a big deal about it because she wasn't, she was just a normal girl from his class in grade school and so he wasn't trying to bridge her privacy and you know put her out there in the spotlight but i know they were dating in 2015 i don't know if they're still together or if they've broken up but yeah one of the things that i love about korea now that we live in the u.s is how rigid their society is see i am not the person that has to participate in this rigidity like a korean does or even when you're living over there you abide by the cultural rules as best you can but you don't have to abide by all of them because you're not korean and they don't expect you to there is less freedom for a korean person because of korean culture but 
On the flip side of that, you can predict or expect certain behaviors from them. It makes life a little bit easier because of the way their culture is in comparison, for instance, with the United States. Things here are all over the place with our freedoms and people act haywire. Police have to tackle people because people misbehave when they're breaking the law. You don't see that sort of police brutality over there, but that's because Korean culture is strict. Mm. So police don't ever have to. People will just comply 99.99% of the times. Very, very different. What I'm getting at here is there are only a small sect of people in Korea, Koreans, that will actually straight up tell you the truth. Most of them are playing this, I have a poker face game when they're talking to you. So they'll be really polite and smile and you're not ever fully sure if they're telling you the truth. My point of all this is I feel like Lee Jun is in that small group that will actually directly tell you the truth and he means it. Like he's saying, oh, I want to marry Moon Hee Joon. Like he means it, but that still doesn't mean he's gay. He just likes that particular person. And this is where we get into these really unidentifiable or gray area gender roles that are happening in the 21st century. And we just have to learn to accept all humans as they are and I just admire him for being himself. A lot of them aren't allowed to be themselves, and especially if you're a celebrity. So he's special to me. Mm. I think it's very cool that he is going and saying that when he was 10 years old, he really liked this K-pop star. And he was like, I want to marry this guy because I like his music. Because haven't we all kind of been in that situation where there's somebody that we like so much, we admired them so much and what they've done that it's like, yeah, I would totally be with that person and hang out with them every single day if I could. This is a story that he stood by for years and years now and he's not afraid of somebody possibly mislabeling him gay. Like he doesn't even care about the label. It's a story that he holds dear and he wants to be truthful with himself. This is something that I can identify with because I'm overly truthful not often, but previously very often in our relationship, not just with you, but like you'll be standing when I say something that I probably shouldn't have said to somebody because I was telling the truth. I like Lee Jun for this because he doesn't give a shit what other people think. That's kind of a rarity in celebrityism, especially in Korea. And I feel like he can actually say it and people will accept it no matter what because they can also relate. Comment you guys on this one, please. Thank you very much for that interesting conversation we just had. It was fun. I enjoy talking about Korea and my experience, but I also think that there's a certain amount of humanity and honesty that, you know, people should just be able to be honest with themselves. And it doesn't mean that you are anything. It doesn't mean that you should be labeled at all. It's just, this is who I am. This is what I like. Okay. I think it helps you feel more comfortable in your own skin when you can be upfront about how you're feeling exactly. That's what he seems to be doing here. So comments, let us know what you think about that. Click the like button while you're down there. Thank you so much for supporting us. Click the bell for notifications. Check out the links to KGAL and don't forget to subscribe for more Hollywood back news. That's it. We're out of here. Hasta luego. Bye.